Okay, Mrs. Morgan is prepped to nowhere too. The Derma Laser people want your endorsement. I'm on board. Their clinical trials are perfect. Sure. Give an interview at five o'clock with AMA Magazine, 15 minutes tops. What would I do without you? You'd be lost. Yes, I would. Mother. You want to take it? No. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Now remember, no horseback riding and no aggressive shopping for at least a month. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Good morning. Ashley, equestrian, 21st birthday. And how are we doing today, Ashley? Better now that you're here, Dr. Hamilton. Well, let's take a look. Yeah. A three-day event or a dressage? Dressage. I can't believe you remember. Yeah. <laughs> Everything looks just fine. Thank you, Dr. Hamilton. My pleasure. Okay. Let's get this on you. How's that feel? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Remember what I said? Mm -hmm. And you're all set. Watch your step. And the attendant will walk you out. <laughs> Oh, and happy 21st. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know what I got from my 21st birthday? I'm guessing it wasn't a nose job. Nope, just a job. However, I did get to wear an apron and fill ketchup bottles. Well, after the weekend, you will be Mrs. Dr. Hamilton, and you won't have to work ever again. Mrs. Dr. Hamilton? Mm -hmm. oh, that is catchy. I know, right? And I'm not quitting. Promise? Yes. Good. When the Smith twins come in to get their ears pinned back, I will be right here for all four years. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think we're rushing things, do you? We've been together four years. No, we've worked together four years. That's different. Although, they do say marriages work. Are you getting cold feet? No. <laughs> Maybe just one cold foot. Wedding jitters. Happens to everyone. Not you. Well, if I had jitters, I wouldn't be much of a surgeon now, would I? You're right. You're right. I just, I can't believe I let my mother plan our <laughs> wedding. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Fine? That's what you tell your patients. When they are fine. Not Mrs. Zimmer. Mrs. Zimmer was not fine. She had complications. And what if... We have complications. We won't. We, we have never even had a fight. No. We make a great team. Oh, and just... Yeah. There you go. It's better. Oh, your mother. Want to take it? Um... Sorry. Got a nose to break. See you Saturday. Yep. I will be the girl wearing the long white dress. Uh -huh. Hi, Mom. <laughs> rice aroni? Your daddy ate the white rice last night. Oh. Well, I thought you were supposed to throw the rice after the wedding. We are just so thrilled. We thought this moment would never come. Your friends are all married. Your sister's married. I know. I am the last single person on earth. What your mother means is, uh, if you're happy, we're happy. Of course she's happy. She's getting married. It's a miracle. Although I don't understand why he can't be here till Saturday. Mother, I already told you he has a nasal reconstruction seminar. Well, he, he can't change his plans. He's the king nose speaker. <laughs> wow. Well, I hope you two are still joking if he doesn't show up. Mother. Where's your ring? Uh, Philip took it to get sized. It was too tight. That's all. What are you doing? We're going to be late. Turn that TV off. Late? We got three hours. Mike, let go of my daughter and sit at the last inning. Uh, is it cool if I watch the rest of the game? What are you asking her for? Because he loves me, Dad. What's that got to do with? Everything. You know what I did before I was married, Mike? Slept all day? Anything I wanted. 
Fair ball. Fair ball. Yes. Yes. You don't know how long I've waited to see someone in this dress. Pretty sure we do. Oh, we do, Mom. Well, you could have worn it if you hadn't eloped. And that is why we eloped. <laughs> is that all you're gonna pack? Yeah. What else do I need? Well, I guess if you want to wear the same thing to the brunch, to the rehearsal dinner, to the no-host cocktail party, to the sunset Chinese lantern okay, ceremony. Mom. I know that you want this to be the wedding that you and Dad never had. But you promised to keep this low key. You did ask Mom to do something low key. It is low key. It's just us and them. Honestly, I do not know what you're afraid of. Because she's not a wedding person, Mom. I mean, you know that. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. What woman doesn't like a wedding? You set a date, you get married. Well, actually, Mom, you set the date. Well, was I supposed to wait for you to get your AARP card? Besides, the nuptial package is only good until May. Nuptial package? Oh. Mother. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, I just thought we should talk without all those people around. Those people? Wow. You mean Georgie's family? Mm. You'll get used to them once you get to know them. What a delightful prospect. You might be surprised. Oh, I am surprised. Up until now, you've been the perfect son. Oh, mother. No, I just don't understand. Of all the suitable girls, you marrying someone like her? Well, I'm not marrying someone like her. I'm marrying her. Well, she's the exact opposite of anyone you've ever dated. Because she's not a shallow socialite or the daughter of one of your friends, I'm not calling off this wedding. Well, then postpone. Everyone knows a proper wedding takes a year and a half to plan. Georgie's mom worked hard on this. I am the mother of the groom. I at least should have been consulted. As I recall, you were too busy. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't have forced my guests to travel. It's less than an hour away. You've driven farther for a pair of shoes. I know this is difficult for you. I know that you feel alone since father died. You're not losing a son. You're, you're gaining a daughter. As they say. Okay. But I will pick you up on Saturday counting the moments. Love you. Love you. Hey, Beth. What time? I know where he is. Well, I'll be there on Tuesday. No? I plan on it. Great, perfect. Great. Hey, man. Sorry I'm late. Lost your shoes? Uh, it's the ferry. Ah. So is that how they dress in uh, wherever it is you're from now? Are you interested in my wardrobe or my sketches? These are good. You haven't lost your touch. Thanks. All right, I'll set up a client dinner. Friday night, Sam Michelle's. Uh, yeah, I can't that night. I got plans. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna cut it, Luke. You want back in the firm, you're gonna have to do the dance. I mean, you were the best in the business, but that was two years ago. Well, three, if we're counting. Yeah, well, clients want puppies, not old dogs. Old dogs? You want the job? I thought I did. Put on a suit, get a place in the city. And would you get a cell phone with reception, please? You mean become the person I used to be? Is that so bad? I appreciate your time. You realize I'll just find someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I'm not calling you again. Well, if the phone don't ring, I'll know it's you. I know, I can't believe it either. We all thought she was gonna be an old maid. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
homemade. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what time. It is. Mm -hmm. Puppies. You know. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was here first. I'm pretty sure we were here at the same time. Oh, I need it more. <laughs> I doubt that. I have a headache. I have a bigger one. I have a neck ache. I stepped on a nail, and my former intern called me an old dog. My mom called me an old maid. Ouch. How old are you? Are you saying I'm old? No. But you're thinking it. No. But my headache's getting worse. Oh. Oh, fine. Take it. I'll just eat ice cream until I pass out. Oh. Okay, now I feel bad. I can split it. Really? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, here you go. Please take it. Please. No, you take it. Save it for ice cream till the pills kick in. Thank you. You know, the uh, fairy has frozen yogurt. It doesn't necessarily have the healing powers of ice cream, but it's good. Maybe we could have a scoop. I can't. Oh. Is it, is it the flip-flops? because I do own shoes. I believe you. Uh, and I just have to go. Okay. Where is she? The fairy's here. Where is she, Davis? Mom thought you ran away. No, oh, I just, just had a headache. You're supposed to get a headache after you get married. Come on, the fairy's pulling in. Okay. Old maid? Welcome, bienvenue. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, we'll take five tickets to the four o'clock show and a large popcorn, please. Georgie, we're here for the Dwyer Hamilton wedding, the deluxe number three package with the chocolate fountain. Yes. <sighs> Quinoa. It's the new rice. Standard on all packages. Oh. This must be the bride. Oh, no, she's already married. This is the bride. Ah, oh. oh. Hey, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> well, it happens all the time. And the groom? He's at a conference, Dr. Philip Hamilton. You may have heard of him. He invented the Hamilton nose. His father invented the Hamilton chin. Oh. <clears throat> well, Do you have any other colors? Yellow washes her out. Yes, I see what you mean. Uh, pink. A pink really isn't her color either. What goes with everything? White Georgie. Hi. Man. Oh. Well, follow me. Everything's gonna be fine. Now, as you can see, we've remodeled in the last two years, which puts us on par with the other five-star hotels in the area. Here's our formal restaurant. 
Over to this side is our lounge. Here's our complimentary coconut water. Mm. And mm. our view. Now, our award-winning amenities include a spa, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, and a jacuzzi heated to 104 degrees. Honey, in two days, that will be you. <laughs> this way? Yeah. Greetings, newlyweds and nearlyweds. <laughs> And here we are. Your rooms down this way. Thank you. M O B F O B. Oh, excuse me? Mother of the bride, father of the bride. Oh. Hmm. Groom's parents. Well, M O G is on her way, and F O G deceased. I see. Follow me. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the bride, the I do suite. I hope you like it. I do. Oh, she does. <laughs> Nuptial basket. Upstairs we have his and hers robes and bedside rose petals. Wow. If there's anything you need, my direct line. Thank you. Excuse me. Now, I'm going to go check on your father. Are you going to be all right alone in here? Mother, I'm not alone. See? I have them. Hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. How's the conference? You're right. I use your opening line. My talk on the nasal buccal membrane was standing room only. How's the hotel? Oh, well, nuptially speaking, I think your mother's going to hate it. Mother hates everything. Really? Wow. I thought it was just me. Uh, Georgie, sweetie, the cyanitis form's about to start. Can you text me the schedule? I can't reach Sheila. I already did. What would I do without you? You'd be lost. Yes, I would. I'll see you tomorrow, Mrs. Hamilton. Yes. Bye. Bye. I mean... Woo! Congratulations! Well, I'll leave you to your joyous occasion. Sir, may I see your room key? Excuse me? Are you staying here, sir? Uh, nope. The poo poos are only for the guests. Since when? We're under new ownership, sir. And the new owner has a poo poo policy? Sir. Okay. Poo-pooed. You just witnessed what happened to me? Oh, yeah. All of it. 
Leaning Tower of Poo Poo's? It's more like Stonehenge? Um, you, uh, you're here for a wedding? Yeah. You? No, no, no. Here for the appetizers. Mm. Uh, uh, bridesmaid? No. <laughs> she dodged a bullet there, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm the bride. <laughs> you're kidding. No. You're not kidding. And I believe you're supposed to say congratulations. Right. I, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just I see a lot of brides and you don't have that thing, you know, the uh, the bridal glow. Oh. Well, what do I have? Um. The look of someone that's going to go see the dentist? <laughs> Besides, Stonehenge was a, was a burial site. Yeah, but I'm sure they had weddings there. No, no, just sacrifices. So when's the big day? Um, the day after tomorrow. Uh, yeah. The deluxe package with the chocolate fountain? We've even been stalking my mother. Groupon. I uh, did a special a few months back and the place has been packed. Okay. So you're a wedding planner? No, no, I just live close by. About a hundred yards. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really close. <laughs> and you're not wearing a ring. It's getting sized. Too loose or too tight? Why? Uh, well, it's just, you know, they say if the ring is too tight, you shouldn't get married. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Never heard that. Dr. Hamilton, forgive me, sir. I, I didn't realize. I, I didn't realize. It, apology oh, accepted. No, he's... No. Forgive me. Here's to finding that one person to annoy for the rest of your life. Cheers. Georgie? Dad. Hi. Hi. Hey. Uh, this is... Luke Griggs. Judd Dwyer. You at the hotel? These hotel adjacent. You doing any fishing around here? Oh, yeah, all the time. I'll tell you a great place if you keep it quiet. Mum's the word. Oh, yeah. North of the point, left side of the reef, halibut city. I love halibut. It's an underrated fish, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Why not? <laughs> Here, take mine. Oh. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Must be nice, living here. Mmm. It is. Well, it, it was when I could hear the seagulls. What do you hear now? The wedding march, day and night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what line of work are you, Luke? I'm an architect. Oh. I was, I was an architect. How about yourself? Appliances, washers and dwyers. Dad loves that joke. <laughs> now Georgie's a nurse. But I'm sure he's not interested in what I do. No, I'm interested. Yeah, it's strange, you know, watching your daughter get married. Uh, you hope the man she picks is uh, what feels like a son. Dad. I guess all that matters is that he's right for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've intruded enough. <laughs> uh, really good to meet you. You too, Luke. Georgie, congratulations. Thank you. I like that guy. Dad, you do remember I'm getting married the day after tomorrow to a different guy. I remember. Okay.
are they? The brunch package brunch ends in half an hour. You don't think he changed his mind, do you? Hi. Hey, finally. Oh. Uh. Philip, Hi. I'm so glad you could make it. <laughs> uh, it's great to be here, Mrs. Dwyer. Oh, and no more formalities. Hi. You call me mom. He doesn't yep. even call his own mother Hi. mom. Philip. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I'm Judd. How was your trip? Long, bumpy, and dreadfully uneventful. But you look amazing. Oh, thank you, Georgianne. Uh, she prefers Georgie. Oh, well, you know, Dad always wanted a boy, so... Georgianne. You're the apple of my eye, honey. <laughs> it's 20 minutes and counting. Right. Uh, who's hungry? Brunch? Yes, please. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Oh, I love your dress. Oh, no, oh, Dad. It's my first. It's my first. <laughs> Waiter. I didn't see any fresh salmon on the buffet. I can bring some, ma'am, but for an additional charge, market price. Poach, please. No butter or butter substitutes. In other words, there is no margarine for air. <laughs> <laughs> Felice, my family is so excited about this wedding. You see, Mom and Dad got married on the military base, and, well, sis eloped. <laughs> We're their only shot at a real wedding. And you're getting quite the catch with our Philip. Mother. Well, my late husband, Dr. Hamilton, and I were only blessed with one child. Naturally, we want the best for him. Well, you're getting it with Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Elise, you look so youthful. What is your secret? Philip gave me a lifestyle lift. Oh. Which reminds me, I have something for you, George. Oh. Uh, waiter, I'm sorry. Can you bring the box over? Now, I know you had plans to wear something else. Oh. oh. But oh. I was able oh. uh, no, to yeah, just set it down. call in. Thank you. A last minute favor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't go wrong with Vera Wang. There is no wrong way, <laughs> right? No wrong way, right. <laughs> oh. The thing is, um, my mom's counting on me to wear her dress. It was my grandmother's. I understand, I do, but we need to ask ourselves which dress will look better in the wedding pictures. Well, Felice is right, honey. It's, it's just stunning. Okay. Oh, this is big enough to fit a Barbie. Well, it's a two, dear. Oh. Oh, well, that explains it. Last time I wore a two was on the back of my baseball uniform, right, Dad? Junior Mariners, heck of a season. Oh, we'll have it altered. I mean, there must be a proper tailor in town. Isn't it? Well, we have, a, we have a harbor cruise planned for 1 o'clock. That's going to be a no from me. I tend to get seasick. Although, uh, I could go for a round of golf if anyone's interested. Uh, skins game, perhaps, gentlemen? You know, it's a no for us. We're not really a golf side fell. Fishing. Fishing. All right. Well, it's settled. Philip, you'll play golf. Mm -hmm. George Ann, you'll come with me. And the rest of you will go on the boat. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to freshen up. Meet me in front of the hotel at 1 o'clock. Sure. Okay? Sure. Uh, waiter, can you help her with a boat? Oh, yeah. Let's get this. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What if we're married for 50 years? That's 50 Christmases, 50 Thanksgivings, and 50 Easters with your mother. I doubt she'll be around for all 50. Oh, I have a feeling she will. Look, you, you just don't fit into her plan for my entire life. And that's a good thing. Huh. She'll learn to love you. The way that you'll learn to love ball games with my dad? Well, how many games? Like two or three. A year? 
a week. Can, can we stop talking about our parents? Yes, I would love to not talk about our parents. Thank you. Um, I can give you a tour of the I Do Suite. I would love that. Okay. Uh, upstairs, we have the his and her robes. Mm -hmm. And right over here, we have the nuptial basket. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. And of course, can't forget the incredible wedding garden views. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where we can watch complete strangers get married <laughs> from dawn till dusk. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. It's the clinic. I have to take this. Yep. Uh, this is Dr. Hamilton. Oh, dear. How? Oh. I'll call you back. It's the Thompson girl, isn't it? She broke her new nose. Horseback riding? The mall. I told her no aggressive shopping. I'm sorry, Georgie, but I gotta go reset it. You just got here. And Dr. Green's uncle, remember? She doesn't want a green nose. She wants a Hamilton nose. It shouldn't be more than a few hours. Be right. You can't leave your parents here alone with my mother. Yeah, oh, you're right. Okay, you stay. I'll go. Oh, okay. I'll be back in time for the rehearsal dinner, I promise. Okay? Hey. Sorry. Hey, yeah, it's me. Um, yeah, I should be there in about an hour. I'll be the girl sitting alone at the table. <sighs> Come in, mother. <clears throat> I just saw Philip rush out. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. He just had an emergency. He just got here. He can't leave again when he's getting married. <laughs> Is he coming back? Yes, Mom, he's coming back. Well, shouldn't you be meeting Felice? Uh, I still have a minute and 30 seconds. Well, I could come shopping with you. <laughs> Why should we both suffer? No, go on the cruise with Dad. It's prepaid. You know, I feel sorry for her. All she has is Philip. Well, Philip. Two houses, a private chef, a limo, and a country club membership. Well, when it comes down to it, none of that other stuff really matters. I'm sorry about the dress. Mm. Oh, honey, it's just a dress. Mm. Your daughter can wear it to her wedding. Oh, my imaginary daughter is already getting married? I'm working on the guest list right now. And now I have to go. <laughs> Bye. Ah, uh, Mr. Griggs, come in, please. Thanks for coming in. Charles Evans. I'm the new owner. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I heard I forgot something at the bar. Oh, that, no, I, I didn't forget that. I left it. I'm glad you did. I looked you up. Your uh, work on Sky Vista development? Exactly what I'm looking for. You see, the bottom line is, I'm expanding the hotel, and I would like to have you involved. How much bigger do you plan on getting? It's just the rooftop altar has a bird's eye view of my bathtub. <laughs> you do realize that I'm offering you a job. I do. It's just when I, when I moved here, this place had 15 rooms and a few weddings a month, and a poo-poo bar that wasn't run by Homeland Security. It was paradise. So if you're just planning on stacking more suites on top of party rooms, I'm not that guy. I was, but I'm not that guy anymore. Well, you do realize that I'll just hire someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I know.
I don't understand this. I talked to the concierge. He said the car would be here in time for me to make my appointment in town. You need to make a call, okay? The bride needs to have her wedding dress fitted today. People are expecting us. I need a call now. Second thoughts? Go, 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 go! Oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Not that I mind, but what are you, what, what are you doing? Avoiding a wedding dress showdown with my future mother-in-law. A what? I want to wear my mom's dress. She wants me in fear away. Okay, so where are we going? Anywhere out of the line of fire. And then what? And then I hide till dinner. Where is Dr. Hamilton in all of this? I've seen you six times already, and every time you're alone. You've seen me three times. Oh, you go, yeah? Oh, yeah? You're counting? Dr. Hamilton is in a way on an emergency. He's a surgeon. Cardiac, brain. Brain of That's a nose job. Why, well, I guess it is. What's the emergency? Is it running? That's so funny. I've heard that before. In second grade. <sighs> well, you're coming to do an errand with me. I'll be back in 30 tops. Mm -hmm. why you kidnapped me, huh? Free labor? Exactly. So we're gonna put it just over here. Okay. What is this for? Whoever wants to sit here. Really? <sighs> Old Island used to look like this. It's beautiful. And the best part about it? No weddings for a 15 mile range. You do know you can move away from the hotel. Yeah, I do. All my neighbors sold one by one. Mm. I'm the last one to hold up. Meanwhile, it's four weddings a day, 365 days a year. Well, I see four nose jobs a day. That's 1,040 noses a year. Plus autoplasties. Auto what? Surgery to get your ears pinned back. <laughs> Who would want to do that? Big ears are aesthetically displeasing. They throw the face off center. Off center? It's so underrated. Like halibut? Like the Sydney Opera House, Stonehenge, uh -huh. the human heart, all asymmetrical, all beautiful. There, see those rocks? Mm -hmm. Thousands of years of water cutting up against it. How imperfect is that? Yet perfect. We should. 
We should go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. this battery at least had one more charge in it. Okay, but you can fix it. Yeah, no problem. All we need is one more car. I'm calling AAA. Reception. How are we getting out of here? Good thing you're not wearing heels. You coming? Are you sure we shouldn't be on a road? This is a shortcut. How short? I don't know, maybe 11 miles. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Are you kidding me? This entire outing is throwing a wrench in my plans. Ah. What? Ah, I, don't, I gotta start wearing shoes. Here, let me see. Mm. I can try to pin my ears back, are you? Mm. What is it, a nail? No. Ah. I need them. What are you doing? This is a new t-shirt. I'm helping you. Hang on. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I'm not happy about this. I thought you liked imperfect things. OK. Now I was thinking, what's the official cutoff age to be an old maid? That's what you were thinking? I have service. We have contact. Oh, yes. Six missed calls. His mother. Police. Was not even happy? Did, before she met me. What's wrong with you? Apparently everything. Fill up! Georgie, I should have taken you with me. Sheila was all thumbs, and she forgot to order the number nine blades. Is my mother behaving? Ab about that. Um. Who's that? Thanks. Where are you? Listen, I got a little sidetracked, but everything's fine. Are you on your way back? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm just wrapping things up here. I have a quick consult on a neck lift. Uh, I, I, I tried to postpone it, but it's the mayor's wife. Philip, I rescheduled that for next week. I know, she just showed up. I will be back before Mother can send back the appetizer. All right? Oh, Philip. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Hamilton, is there something I can help you with? Well, it appears as though up and stood up by the bride to be. Oh, <laughs> nervous forgetfulness, I'm sure. Well, as long as you're here, I'd like to go over some of the changes to the wedding we need to make. When I married Dr. Hamilton, we had a simple white canopy with Tivoli lights. When our vows were spoken, the lights seemed to glow like fireflies. Ms. Hamilton, don't you worry. This will be a wedding made in heaven. Excuse me. Made in heaven. Like thunder and lightning. I almost got married once. Almost? partner at my firm took off with my clients and my fiance. Well, how? It's awful. You know, you'd think so. But once the smoke cleared, I realized it was the best thing that could have happened. 
My whole life I was just going through the motions. And wrong girl, wrong job. New building, bigger, newer, passionless. It was, it was empty. So I dropped out. And here I am. Lost in the woods. No, no, not lost. I just don't want to become that person again. Well, you won't. You have scar tissue. A cut heels, scar tissue's formed. It's not always pretty, but it's stronger, better. That probably sounds so stupid to you. No, no, it doesn't. What is this place? Destination wedding site? Chinook. From a time when marriage has lasted for life. <laughs> and for our deluxe package. Number two. We have our natural sulfur springs, shrouded with poison oak. <laughs> music, courtesy of our indigenous birds. And the coup de grace. Our fresh blueberry patch, all you can eat at no additional cost. Hey. What's wrong? I'm a terrible bride. I mean, I'm horrible. I've seen worse. No, you haven't. Okay, so you're you're terrible. Must be a reason. There isn't. Were you left at the altar? No. Parents divorced? I have been married 36 years. Then it's got to be something to do with the groom. No, there's nothing wrong with the groom. He is... He's brilliant and, and accomplished and confident. And, I mean, you should see him. He doesn't even have friends. He has fans. Well, then you have nothing to worry about, right? You do love him. Yeah. We, 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 we get along great. We've never had a fight, and... We think we're a really great team. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. It's gonna be okay, all right? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Everything's gonna be fine, right? Well, I didn't say that. It's gonna be <laughs> fine eventually. <laughs> Look, blueberries. It's high in antioxidants. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been acting so crazy since I've been here. Wedding fever. I see it all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. See, look, you're cured. You know, my mom, she's been pushing for this wedding since since I brought my first boy home. Really? Mm-hmm. She baked him a cake, and he only came over to do homework. Well, you know what they say. You can try to get somewhere in a hurry, and they'll get you there faster, but it might get you into an accident. Tell me, is this the same they that says it's bad luck if your ring's too tight? No, no, that... That's a different day. Hey! I don't think you need that. Give me that. Come here. Hey! Hey! Oh! Give me your best shot. There's Georgie. And what a relief. Philip's here. That's not Dr. Phil. He's not even wearing shoes. Hey, guys. So, oh, looks like you caught some fish. Yeah. Hey, good to see you again, hey, Luke. You too, Judd. 
Oh, I, I, uh, I got some, some blueberries on me. Fish guts. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Melissa and Mike, otherwise known as NM. That's hey, my mom. Nice. Everyone, this is Luke Griggs. Really good to meet all of you. Where's Philip? I get delayed. Something about a neck needing a lift. He will be here in time for rehearsal. Unless you have another Philip update? Georgianne. I assume you have a good excuse for standing me up. I do. Good. I don't. Do you mind if I have a, a word, Felice? It's Mrs. Hamilton. Um, you see, Mrs. Hamilton, uh, Georgie wants your approval, like any daughter-in-law would. That's why she's afraid to tell you that she wants to wear her mother's dress. And not just because she has to hold her breath to wear it, but because, because it has history. And history is important, right? I mean, this, this island has history. And that dress has history. Oh, and well, who are you? And why am I listening to this high school debate speech? I'm, um, uh, nobody. As I assumed. Georgia, if you wanted to wear your mother's dress, why didn't you just say so? I wanted you to like me. For heaven's sakes, dear. We're gonna be family. Mm-hmm. Besides, if you'd rather wear Orlan than Vera Wang, who am I to stop you? It's only 30% or not. The rest is sateen. How reassuring. Well, I'm sure you'd all like to get cleaned up before Philip arrives. Of course. Oh, I didn't make that worse. <laughs> no, actually, that was, uh, it was the warmest I have ever seen her. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I, uh, I gotta get back to the point and give this truck a charge. You got plans tonight? No. Come to the rehearsal dinner. I really appreciate the invite, Judd. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be there, as long as it's okay with you, Mrs. Dwyer. It's more than okay, and you can call me Emma. Okay, Emma. All right. Eminem? I gotta put this fish on ice. Oh, you know, I just think he's so charming. As your bridesmaid, I have to ask. Are you afraid that Philip won't show up? Or are you worried that he will? Mm, you know, it's not like Philip to be late. Oh, he's probably just stuck in traffic. He's always on time for his surgeries. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh. Hey, guys. M, M. Guys. Hey. Hello. Judd, good to see you again. Good to be seen. Emma, you look lovely. Thank you. Mrs. Hamilton. Wedding black. How festive. Do I know you? We met an hour ago. Apparently, you failed to make an impression. I'm gonna wait in my room until Philip arrives. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. <sighs> she means well. You look new to it. <laughs> so, uh, where's the uh, lucky groom? Oh, he's still on his way. Still? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, you know what they say it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. <laughs> but it is good luck to see her during. All right, people, rehearsal, rehearsal. Everybody in their places. Oh, riding Dr. Hamilton, follow me. Oh, Dorian, no, 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 this isn't the real Dr. Hamilton. I'm not? No. Be that as may, we do have another rehearsal party breathing down our necks, so might I suggest for a small nominal fee, you can hire a standing. Oh, well, I gotta pay for a standing groom now? Yeah. Look, I'm already here, I don't mind doing it. No. He doesn't mind. No! I'd be honored. I don't have to sign a prenup, do I? <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure somebody else can. Let's go. You see, you're already ordering me around. It's like we're already married. 
Okay, <laughs> so we've already had the walk down the aisle, the bride and the groom, accompanied by the harp player, bride and groom, now look at each other. In the eyes, not the feet. Very nice. We are gathered here together, blah, 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 in sickness and in health. Ceremony, ceremony. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Sounds good. And do you take this man to love, honor, and cherish? Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Yes, I do, would be more keeping with the nuptial tone. Yes. Rings. Uh, they're with the groom, still. Um, I have a ring. Huh. No, 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 we should not be doing that. It's not a big deal, it's that. just, it's... it's for good luck. It's Chinook. It's not too tight, is it? No. So, we now go to the wrap-up. I now pronounce you... Music, tears, laughter, and the throwing of the quinoa. You forgot to say you may now kiss the bride. What? Aren't you the stand-in? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to cover all the bases here, you know? <laughs> Two marriages. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Emma and I were uh, happy for 20 years, and then we met. <laughs> so you, you guys must have a great story. Oh, the best. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we met in the waiting room of a job interview. There was an empty couch, and instead of sitting on separate ends, we both sat in the middle. Hello. <laughs> we didn't get the job, but... We got each other. And they have been finishing each other's sentences. Ever, ever. since. Yeah. So, what about you and Philip? What's your story? Oh. Well, we work together. We've actually worked together for four years. And things just sort of fell into place. We just evolved. So you evolved, and... And that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Well, not everyone has a story. Um, <clears throat> I, I do. <clears throat> you do? Yeah, uh, this girl walked into a mini-mart. I was definitely not planning on meeting someone. And our hands touched over an aspirin bottle. I had a headache. She did too. It was sheer agony at first sight. <laughs> she was luminous. Hello, everyone. Apologies. What did we miss? Clearly nothing. <laughs> Police is right. You just miss some fake wedding stuff and food. That's all. Mm. Hi. Hey. Uh, to Georgie and Philip, may you always be as happy as you are this very minute. Who's that? Uh, that's Luke, the wedding stand-in. The stand-in. Uh, and now that you're here, I, I guess I can go. Oh, you work for the hotel? No. No, no, but I, I recommend the chicken Kiev. Uh, Judd, Emma, M, M. Georgie, have a wonderful wedding. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh. You forgot your ring. No, no, it's yours. No, take it. It's yours. No. It's yours. Be happy, Georgie. When was the last time we were alone? Uh, post-brunch pre-necklace? <laughs> I'm sorry about today. And yesterday. 
it's okay. No, it's not. I should have let Green handle it, but I just... I couldn't. I know. You do know. I mean, that's what I love about you. I, I don't have to explain things. That's what you love about me? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> I need to talk to you about today. If you're talking about standing up to my mother, I get it. I would have done the exact same thing. Although, can I be honest with you? Please. Not to put down your mother's dress or anything, but I mean, the Vera Wang really would be more flattering. Oh, oh sorry. Not picking up. Didn't you say anything? Okay, just once all this wedding stuff is behind us, everything will settle down. Which reminds me, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. I have something for you. Try it on. Isn't that bad luck? Since when are you superstitious? You're right. It's probably worse luck if it doesn't fit, right? Yeah. It's too loose. I'll put tape on it. No, because I told... But isn't that... The... You're the stand-in guy, right? Sorry? Can't hear you. Hey, Phil, what are you doing? I want to talk to that guy. I just noticed something earlier, and I'd kick myself if I didn't address it. Oh, sure. Okay. Hey. Hi. Scott. Uh... Beautiful night, huh? Yeah. Uh, look, um, I wanted to ask you something back at the dining room, but you left in such a hurry that uh, I never got a chance. Have you ever had your nose broken? Um, nothing happened, okay? Not nothing, nothing, because under different circumstances, something could have happened, but it didn't. All right. Go ahead, take your best shot. I probably deserve it. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have taken her up island. And, and my shortcut could have been shorter. And it's possible I knew my battery was going to die. But I, I have to apologize, Phil. I didn't. You have, you have an amazing woman. And, you know, something could have happened. But it didn't. And it won't, because you guys are getting married in 18 hours. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that meant, and I do know that Georgie is amazing, and I am lucky to have her. Okay. Look, you don't have to explain. I trust you. You have this slight nasal fracture, most likely from an old injury that was untreated. I can fix it. He can. Okay. The, the thing is, I, I like my nose. I use it for breathing. How is your breathing? You come to think of it, it, it's not that good. You know, I really like to look at that under the light. Um, can we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's go inside. Oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah. Tell me if you feel any tenderness or clicking sound there. Right there? Oh, there, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any prone to infection? Sometimes. Okay, so, listen, call Georgie, set up an appointment. We'll be back in the office on Tuesday. We'll get you sorted out. All right? Okay, Tuesday. No honeymoon? Oh, well, this is our honeymoon. Uh, until we can sneak off in August to Rome. <laughs> Check out some of those Roman noses, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. We should go, honey. Yeah. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, see you tomorrow. By the wedding? Huh? I assume you'll be there now. Uh, well, I am part of the honeymoon, so why not see this through till the end, right? <laughs> At three o'clock, black tie, optional. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. We'll see you. Okay. Yeah.
should be available till about 2.30ish. I just gotta wrap something up this afternoon. Okay, great. Talk to you soon. Bye. I didn't mean wrap up like a sandwich. <laughs> so, it's the, uh, it's the big day. Mm-hmm. Your cold foot again, huh? It's not just my feet. Okay. You're an amazing man. Oh, boy. You're the perfect man. I mean, who wouldn't want to marry you? Well, I'm guessing you. We don't have that thing that, that couples have when they're in love. We don't have a story. We don't have that moment where we just knew. And it's like we got swept up in this wave and now we are about to make a huge mistake. Georgie, no, we could... If we didn't work together, and you didn't depend on me so much, if I was just some girl you met in a mini mart, you fall in love with me? Probably not. Yeah, I think I've been using work as an excuse. I know that there's something missing between us. I just... I thought it was fixable, you know? We just... work together so well at the office, you know? I just thought... All of this was the the next logical step. I I do love you. I love you too. <sighs> so you're not upset. I I guess I should be, but um Ooh, I think I'm relieved. Oh. Yeah. Well, you have just made me the happiest woman <laughs> on earth. <laughs> no, I take that back. You've made your mother the happiest uh, woman on earth. I can just hear the celebration now. Mm. Mm. Country club <laughs> poached salmon. No butter or butter substitutes. None at all. Mm. Ooh. What am I going to tell my mother? She's going to be crushed. We should just get married. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll tell them together. <sighs> <I'm funny. clears throat> no, I, I, okay, I will, I will meet you for brunch and we will tell them together. I will be the happily Unmarried girl by the on the station. Everything's gonna be fine, Georgie. Mm. I know. This is Dr. Hamilton. Uh huh. Yes. <sighs>
Hey, thanks for coming up here. I like the new drawings. Uh, they're rough. But I wanted you to see what I was talking about. <sighs> wow. It is beautiful here. This is what the grounds of your hotel used to look like. Mm -hmm. You know the spot where my cottage is? Years ago, that was a natural grotto. I was looking into the historical topography maps and I was thinking we could restore it to its original state, make it for a beautiful wedding site. Huh. I, I thought you didn't want the job. Yeah, so did I. You know, truth is, I don't want to make things bigger. I want to make them better. Hmm. And I'm not saying you go back to 15 rooms and three weddings a month, but your hotel could be part of the island again. You know, instead of a conveyor belt of brides, you give people a place to remember. A memory that lasts hopefully longer than most other marriages do. So, why the change of heart? A girl? <laughs> Isn't it always? <laughs> now, I can't offer you what they were paying you at your firm. Why don't you throw in a free poo-poo pass? All you can eat? You might regret that. <laughs> Is that a yes? You had me a poo-poos. Come back for a happy hour. We'll go over the details then. Oh, you know what? Can we do it tomorrow? Gotta see a bride about a groom. Enjoy. Maybe we should wait till they finish eating. Although, with my family, that could take forever. I think we should do it now. Right. Okay, you make the incision, I'll close. <clears throat> Great. Uh, Georgie and I have an announcement. Oh, no. Everybody, um... Georgie has something to say. That's it. That's her incision. Okay. Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Mom. Dad. I know how much you wanted this wedding. Police, I know how much you didn't. And as it turns out, I am going to remain unmarried for the foreseeable future, and Philip is going to remain married to his work. Thank heavens, Philip, you've come to your senses. Georgiana, I'm sure you and your family and Tom will agree. It was Georgie who called it off, Mother. Is that true, Georgie? Mom, it was the right thing to do. For both of us. And the next time I almost get married, I hope it's to someone as great as Georgie. Georgie, you would have made a wonderful daughter-in-law. You would have made an amazing... Well, <laughs> let's quit while we're ahead, OK? OK. I'm going to go pack. Bye. I am so sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Dwyer. It happens. You come by sometime. I'll throw some halibut on the grill. I would love that. And uh, someday I hope that Georgie can find something like what you two have. She will. You both will. I should. Um... Yeah. I'll be right back. Take care, Philip. Bye, Philip. Bye. So I'll see you back at the office. Oh, uh, think you can pin back the Smith twins without me? I need some time to figure things out. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Okay. Bye. Bye. You okay? Well, we should be asking you that. Oh, yes, I am fine. No. I'm better than fine. 
I'm happy. Well, listen, <clears throat> as long as we have a deluxe package number three paid for, it's no use in wasting a good wedding, right? Well, I suppose I could ask Dorian to get one of those standing grooms. Well, I think we already have a groom. Right, Dad? We have a bride. We even have a dress. Oh, you look beautiful. That is very nice of you to say. That's true. Always with the jokes, just like your father. Mom, are you nervous? OK, so I'm nervous. <laughs> After 36 years? Well, the last time I did this, your father didn't know what he was getting into. Well, this time, he does. And he's out there waiting for you. Oh, <gasps> that's your song. Let's go. Wait, what, what about the harp? I canceled the harp and dove option. We are now going with the Chimichanga Station and the Oldies Band on the beach. And you and Dad are saying your own vows. I thought you weren't a wedding person. Well, turns out I kind of am. Besides, I'm single now. What else am I going to do? <laughs> you going to walk me down the aisle? With pleasure. Come on. Thank you. Am I too late? I believe they're between I do and the King Wall. No! Georgie, don't get married! I, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, please, continue. Hey. Hey. Okay, everybody, please gather around. The next wedding will be starting in five minutes. Please, let's move along. Good, good. This way, please. Right this way. Can we pretend like that just didn't happen? No, no, I, I definitely can't. So, where's Philip? You aren't. You're, you're not. We called it off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I mean, so you're not getting married? No. I decided to wait until I found that man I could annoy for the rest of my life. Well, it just so happens that I know someone who finds you incredibly annoying. I find you incredibly annoying, too. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> so you're selling your cottage? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move up island. By your bench. By our bench. Do you wanna go for... Aspirin? <laughs> Dinner? I do. I do too. Okay, happy couple. We really have to move it along. We have another wedding scheduled. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take this up to the chocolate fountain. Uh, about that, I canceled the chocolate fountain. You did what? <laughs> Emma, do you know she canceled the chocolate fountain? Oh, let's forget about this Emma business. You just call me mom. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> our historic grotto. This is the place where moon families join together in marriage, creating a lasting peace between them. Just one day, that's all it took was just one day. Now this wise guy's got nothing to say. You blew him away. I was headed the wrong way. 
Till you turn me around Now sweet affection My only direction It took a lifetime But you had me Just one day What a difference in just one day You gave your sweetheart And stole mine away All in just one 